What sets Abbotsford apart from a lot of other communities is the, the quantity of farm experiences and really the quality is really top notch. There is a number of different uh, farm partners. Again, they've been around for most of them for quite a long time. They've been able to perfect their service and their offerings. And so there's those sort of quick, short experiences that are, are ample in Abbotsford. But as well, if you're looking for a more farm-based uh, afternoon where you want to have something to eat, where you want to talk to the farmer and learn about uh, you know, maybe how the apples are grown or how they're processed, uh, you can really spend as much time as you want with farmers. And the variety is, is great. We've got uh, all sorts of berries and fruit producers. We also have a number of wineries in Abbotsford. We spent quite a bit of time a few years ago working with the community and working with a lot of our what we call marketing partners and we really wanted the community to inform the brand development and we landed on a tagline called handmade and homegrown because we really felt that resonated certainly with us and, and what we were hearing from our partners about what makes Abbotsford different. My name is Jason Lepp, I am 30 years old and I am one of three children of Rob and Charlotte Lepp and our family runs and operates Lepp Farm Market and Lepp Farms. I'm more so in the, in the retail locations, my brother looks after all of our farm operations. I also have an older sister, uh, her and her husband farm chickens in Chilliwack and uh, Jeff grows the chickens for us on our farm here in Abbotsford as well. The Fraser Valley specifically has no shortage of food. Like, we are in one of the most abundant places in the world for food. We try and partner first with local producers. That's always been our priority. We don't grow blueberries, but we try and find the best blueberry producer out there. If we have to find other meats or, you know, some salamis or something that we don't make, we, we make a point to go and find the best one that we can find and we bring that in. We partner with lots of other farms. We sell lots of stuff from local harvest. We sell lots of stuff from our own farms. We have great farming partnerships in the Okanagan for things that we don't grow. And the cool part is we have a really tight food community. There's a lot of cafes, restaurants, chefs who are super passionate about supporting local farms. And they go out and they meet the people and they have the connections. So inevitably it just kind of helps everybody lift up because there's, there's a lot of passion around the food that we're eating and the friendships you make along the way are pretty fun. My name is Judy Campbell and I'm the production manager at Campbell's Gold Honey Farm and Meadery. Along with my husband Michael and our daughter Jenny, we are a small family-run agritourism business in southwest Abbotsford. We've been on the farm over 30 years, and during that time we've established our apiary for our honeybees, our fruit and berry crop, a vineyard, and our country store. We have had a strong relationship with Tourism Abbotsford for several years, participating in the Circle Farm Tour and various tourism promotions. Most recently, we co-hosted with Tourism one of the Sun and Soil concert series in July 2021. This open-air evening concert was a great way to share with visitors a charcuterie with food from local farms, our honey wines, and some local musical talent, all while they enjoyed some release from the constraints of the pandemic. The concerts have been really quite magical over the last couple of summers. That sort of combination of local musicians on a farm setting, and then of course you layer in the food aspect of it, which is really important when you're gathering for events. And when you're on a farm, you want to experience what that farm has to offer. A few of the concerts have been in wineries, for example. So we're able to work with our local winery uh, that the concert might be at have them be at the concert providing the wine in this case for for that event and then working with the local chef or food producer to to make up the dinner for that evening fairs are a part of our history and it's a part of our history because of the farmers. And they're the ones who made Exhibition Park the home of the Abbotsford Agri-Fair. 
And then bit by bit, the, the stadium was built and the rotary track. So it's multifaceted, but with pertaining to AgriFair, the Exhibition Park is a place where we can still come together as a community and instill that agricultural root that we have here in young people. This site was founded by Abbotsford community farmers, not just for agriculture, for the whole community. We don't have lakes with sandy beaches and resorts. Uh, we don't have big destination attractions in Abbotsford. So we had to kind of focus on, well, what do we have that makes us different? And again, it is that agricultural community. And where we see opportunities in the future is how do we, as Tourism Abbotsford, encourage that activity. And so we're looking to create more opportunities to come together as a community, to, to pause and to, to, to come together over food and to learn about, uh, again, food production and to learn about the, the farmers and their stories and grow that even further and really become a true food destination.